the blueprint system is something that came along with the 1.42 update for The Sims 3, which is the update that is coming right before the release of Seasons, and it comes with some brand new things, uh, one of which is the blueprint system. Though I was apprehensive at first to try out the blueprint system, I'm very glad I did, for many reasons that I'm going to show you in this video. So, um, while you can use the blueprint system in an already built house, I would really recommend doing it on a brand new lot, which is what I'm going to be using here, and all you have to do to access it is go into buy mode or build mode, I don't think it matters which one, um, but since I'm doing this on a random lot, I'm just going to go ahead and say build on this lot. So go into build mode. Then right here next to the daytime and the grid tools, you're going to see blueprints. I would recommend turning on your grid tools just so that you can get better placement. I'm going to turn this back on. But you're, all you have to do is hit blueprints. So you're going to see all these categories. Some of these boxes will be reddened out if you don't have enough money to purchase the room set. So if I were you, I would use mother load or any other cheap to be able to afford the room set. So that's what I did, and I can afford all of them. So there's many categories, just like the categories that you run into when you're in regular buy mode and you're just trying to furnish your room. But now there's room sets in each one, and they're categorized more than you would think by just looking at it. Not every single category has the particular set, but most of them do, and it makes building the house much simpler. So to show this, I'm just going to show, starting with the kitchen, there's dated, which is just a dated set, country, which is country, gothic, coastal, and ultra contemporary. I'm going to use coastal, which is just a set that is throughout here. So, this is the kitchen I want, it says this is a moderately priced kitchen. It gives you a preview of the layout, but all you're going to do is just choose somewhere in the lot to place it. Now there's a few things you're going to want to realize about it, so I'm just going to randomly place it anywhere. You can turn it, of course, by clicking and dragging, whatever you want to do, and so I'm just going to place it. Around the border, these striped things are where the walls are going to be. So these would be the walls of the room. Where there's empty spaces like this are archways. So right here would be an archway, and right here would be an archway. This is of course an island, that's a plant, chairs, and then there's some kind of flooring. These blue things right here with the border, they represent windows. So there's windows there and there, and when you're building these uh, blueprints, you're gonna wanna keep track of things like that. You're going to want to match up archways, and you don't want to have windows inside the house, so try to place these along the border of the house. So, with that being done, let's go ahead and preview the blueprints. Just to get an idea for what this is going to look like in real life. So this is the house completely built. The windows are there and there, as I said. The archway is here and here, like I said. And it has a white going around the house. And the inside of the kitchen is pretty good not bad so I'm gonna just say cancel just so that we can keep the blueprint down and match everything better so we're going to move into dining room because that would usually accompany a kitchen so as you can see dated as same as the other one contemporary you're gonna go along until you find the one particularly you would do this usually you would do this that matches the set that you just put down so here's the dining room for coastal so there's another archway right here see how it matches up. If you don't match them up, say if I put it here, it would change the placement of the archway, but it makes your life easier if you match them up. So it looks like this is pretty good. I'm going to put that down. So you have an archway leading into here. There's doors opening up to another room that we can put there. There's windows all along this side. And this white part right here, that represents a painting. So when we hit preview blueprints, that's where a painting is going to be. The rest is self-explanatory. This is some sort of arm wire or whatever. So let's preview them together. So it'll build all of the blueprints currently placed on the lot. As you can see, the archways matched up here. There's a painting right here, like I said there would be. And then there's windows all around. So here we have a double door. This is probably leading to the outside, and it could either be a front door. It can be whatever you want. So I'm going to hit cancel, just to still have the blueprints. And we can move into the living room. So, here's the coastal living room. It shows that there's a door right here, a double doors, 
And so I'm gonna want to match that up to a place. I could either, I could, eh, that wouldn't be the best place because it doesn't go. But I think right here, since there's room for it, with the doors right there, I think that I could put the living room coming off the kitchen. So you put it there. And just like I've been doing, we can preview all the blueprints. Of course, you don't have to preview the blueprint after every single one you place. But I would recommend it just to make sure you like the way the house is turning out. Um, so we have the doors going from the kitchen into here. And actually, now that I look back, this is why you want to do the preview blueprints. I didn't even notice that there was an archway here. So I'm going to hit cancel. And then I'm going to rotate this so that I can match up this archway with the kitchen. So now when I preview the blueprints, as you can see here, there's an archway going into the kitchen and a door leading outside. So of course you can continue with this. It's the same with bathrooms. You can go along. Of course you can pick other ones, but I'll show you in the end why you probably want to stick to single sets. So find the coastal bathroom and find the best place to put it. So. I probably want to put it coming off of somewhere like here, but I think I'm going to put it, um, see this is where it can get difficult because you're creating these floor plans pretty much blind. If I put this here, it'll probably get rid of those doors, so I'll, I'll put that there and hit preview blueprints. And this is as far as I'm going to go, of course you can place bedrooms and everything else that you would have to place here. And that would work. So as you can see, we run into a couple issues with the door, and then there's like these glass doors leading into the bathroom. Easy fixes. So this time I'm gonna hit accept, and I'm gonna exit blueprint mode by just re-hitting this little blueprint button. And now we have almost a fully built house. Of course, we don't have the bedroom or anything, but those are easy fixes. So there's a couple things that you're gonna want to change about your house, but the best part about blueprint mode is that it's completely customizable, even when you're using the blueprint. So of course I'm gonna to want to delete these doors because that doesn't make sense to have doors like that leading in. And it also makes sense for me to move this one over. It also doesn't make sense for me to have this going all the way across, so I can delete that and that, and that'll just have to be an awkward window. Then I can even delete that window, make it look a bit better. So these two rooms look fine. Go into the kitchen. Now we have an archway leading into nowhere. That's not good. Simple fix, just delete the archway. Maybe I could put a front door here and then I could have this leading off to a patio that I could build myself. Put it around here, put a bench here. And then as far as roofs are concerned, you just go back into build mode. If you have auto roof on, then all you have to do is go up a floor and you have your roof built. But of course you can still delete the roof as I would probably do myself, and you can add your own roof over it. Very customizable, and honestly, I applaud EA. This is a very, very smart thing, and it's not something that we have necessarily been asking for as avid sim players. That's a terrible roof. <laughs> but like, this isn't something that we've been asking for, and they gave it to us, and to be honest, it's, I think it's absolutely brilliant. It brings a quickness to the game that I don't think any of us have really experienced before because the simplicity with which that we can build houses now and I'm assuming they're going to be bringing more sets in in the future and I'm sure that you can probably make your own blueprints. The best part about all of this is that one day like we'll have we'll be able to scroll across all of these to look at different blueprints and maybe we'll be able to put blueprints up for download. So to me, this is a very smart decision by EA to release this. It's brilliant and whether or not you're buying seasons, if you update to the 1.42 patch in your launcher, this is something I think anyone in the game could appreciate. And I would definitely recommend using it. I know I will. So thanks for watching. I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer. Thanks so much for watching and happy simming.